Snake wasn't that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. Hey, look. What you know about them keyways and domos? What you know about gang bagging red and blue? What you know about the holidays and barbecues? What you know about the mayor? Back in the black, 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 black box once again. Jita, gratitude is the attitude. This show is a blessing to be back in the black box. We might not be blowing, but to have a succession. Oh, my mama, mama, kicking cack, being boo, the podcast. I believe it's episode six. See you thing. Or seven? See ya thing. That's yeah. what it do, man. It's Eastwood. Whenever Easty nigga and a Woody nigga get together, it's an Eastwood function. What it do, Munchy B, man? Welcome back home, bro. Oh, shit. Bole, bole, bole. Oh, ain't good. Back in the black box with, with the bro. Mm -hmm. Everything Gucci with you? Everything Gucci, man. Uh, they got a lot of uh, good feedback from our last episode, man. A lot of the conversation. Shout out to Frosty and Brick Baby for um, being man enough to call in. And, you know, everybody looking for everybody to do the thing that is shocking and the most dangerous and reckless. But for them to be whatever they thought, however they presented it, for either of them to be able to call in and, and be respectful and get that little small sheeting it out the way, man. Salute to them, man. Hey, like I say, misunderstandings lead to mortuary. So, you know what I'm saying? If you could uh, talk and get it out the way, you know what I'm saying? Before anything goes to something further, then, you know what I'm saying? Then that's a W, you know what I'm saying? Much agreed. I agree, man. And on a little look, oh, yeah, related message. On the way up here, I was hollering at uh, shout out AD from 60s. He, 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 he expressed, he was proud of me. He was like, I like what you're doing with Spider. You know mm. what I'm saying? They like they keep that keep that edge going. You know what I'm saying? That's I'm right. Like, Shout out AD. Appreciate it, Keyway. Yeah, yeah, AD, that grew to be the bit a bit of bro on everything. You know what I'm saying? Just, I also want to say, man, I just shot it. I just talked to Big Drac from uh, Schoolyard Crip, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody know recently that I've been speaking on it for quite some years. But I spoke on a situation that Blueface had in um, Santa Clarita, um, out by Magic Mountain. Uh, situation with Wap Wap involving some Serenios and uh, I've been been on the line trolling bringing it up speaking on it I've seen certain things that is considered as evidence from that side presented to me on FaceTime and I went against my better judgment trolling holding on hundred and the fact that we just engaged in this he did this he did that wooty wop 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 and Blueface was so close to Wack holding on hundred I allow myself to go uh, into like bringing up online the she knit that I was convinced of offline, even though that probably wasn't the proper way to do it. And I seen Drac on Melly Mel channel. Melly Mel put us in touch. We just chopped on the phone. And I want to admit to the fact that, uh, yeah, that probably wasn't the best way to go about it. And from this point forward, I ain't going to be speaking on that little situation with Blueface and Tester no more online. Oh, my, 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 my. Shout out to Big Drac. I feel you, Keyway. Hey, but see, I've been guilty of uh, people catching buck shots based on my dislike towards whack. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, people, man, I, I mean, yeah. I, got, I got a strong disdain towards that dude. You know what I'm saying? So I could kind of see how how that, that came about with you, though. You know what I'm saying? I people, appreciate they, that. They, they, they catch the, the, the buck shots. You know what I'm saying? And that spe so. specific subject matter, because be, he keep big SPI, free big spider. Little Spider and Tiny Spider because keep my brother name in his mouth with some politics according to uh, him that he supposed to be all bad. His crime he was a 6-0 according to Hold No Honey. My brother told him some 6-0. So I've subsequently gathered all the paperwork associated with the case and presented it to the 6-0s. They know everything that happened. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole non-starter um, situation. And I think that just trying to combat with him on this on online i spoke on Blueface's situation publicly or should i say situation and that probably wasn't the uh proper protocol so i heard you drag so i'm gonna uh, get out your way with that and i'm gonna let the keyways politic and move forward how they do it oh yeah okay 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 now what you been up to brody now now look, look, look i was scrolling earlier today earlier today going i see uh Sassy, sassy badass, <laughs> and, and, and uh, the, the boy from Blackstones. Mm. I ain't gonna even call him by his name. I'm gonna call him the little engine that could. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. So, so he he had a problem with me speaking on him 
discussing the baby stones and well the baby the, the baby stone and four extras encounter when i spoke on that i didn't think he was supposed to be politicking on the young homie from bps with somebody that's a a reject he got a dis dishonorable discharge from this from this from this b team thing you know what i'm saying and on top of that he taught on tc which is still, free tc he's still doing time mm -hmm. so you know what i'm saying during that i said you know what i'm saying I, I asked somebody i felt it's credible you know what i'm saying he said he don't check he don't check out mm. like he, he, i never heard of that name before i said okay well maybe that name he go by is probably a, a, a internet mm, name man. it might not be no has to be no 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 but no talk on your name right because a lot of people spider and Munchie probably the only ones that go with some <laughs> internet shit and game bank shit and got the same handle mm, not no too shit. many people because audium slim is her name right it's something else you exactly. know what i'm saying like so okay now i'm scrolling today he going bad on me going bad on me i watch Are you yeah he going bad but but guess what guess what guess what goofy bad at well, guess what sassy badass say hmm. i'm about to log off but little look just do me a favor you do go you go in on munchie but don't, uh, spider and alex stall him out man you stall him out mm. right <laughs> right so i'm like he act like i need some help right for one i'm like oh he crazy all right boom no no no. so uh the little engine that could he going up on me oh well, well, I, I listened to about six min minutes of it then i hear somebody else from blackstone i'm like hey man you know so and so he said i met him one time a couple months ago and then he said I asked the homies about him. Don't nobody know him. I said, that's what I was about to ask you. He said, yeah, he don't check out. Mm. I said, bet. Now, don't be mad at me, bro. <laughs> don't, don't be mad at me. I, I, I heard all the little, the, 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 the mud you were slinging at me. That's great, but, but don't be mad at me, bro. All my homies know me. You need to go figure that shit out in the jungles or the bitty, whatever, whatever side you from. You care to share anything that he was saying in specific or particular that he didn't, he was at Apollo with? Nah, hell no, nah, because right, I so find it is. highly disrespectful. Mm -hmm. But you know, I mean, I, I, the, the, the thing about, the thing about, okay, the, 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 the key ways I done had words with over the internet, uh, they ain't reach, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to like sassy badass, and and the little engine that could like sassy badass is in boston mm. the little engine that could is is, is in washington mm. don't nobody know you from bps mm. you doing you doing you doing you doing content on on, on 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 the baby stones and i don't think you even got them niggas numbers in your contacts bro mm. like if i want if i want to run content on on frosty or something and get my opinion it's cool because guess what if he does he don't approve he could call me like hey why you you know what i'm saying right you don't know nobody over there in the jungles bro you probably you, you seen training day i don't know but how old he, is that dude i don't know he might got an uncle or something from over there you know these bang with their family bang right but you know what i'm saying don't be mad at me be mad at the black stones bro you know what i'm saying so that's when you ran it when you ran the uh i ran his license plate twice bro and that's what came bro. and he's not registered mm. so but I'm gonna move on, bro. I ain't gonna even address you by your name, bro. Your name is the little engine that could, bro. You know what I'm saying? You in Washington, bro. I mean, at least if you go, you know what I'm saying, pop your pop your ish. You know what I'm saying, be in city limits, bro. Don't don't worry about the blind thing. Don't worry about that. Don't don't let that bother you. I mean, just you know. And, 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 that, and that's what it is, though. Hey, okay. I just want to iterate right here at this point, almost like a PSA. Kicking mm -hmm. Cack being bull is a platform developed for positivity. Yeah, it a, is. A lot of times when we're trying to bring about cohesiveness, you got to deal with some negative conversations, people that misspeak. So we're not here trying to keep up no funk or no beef, but when someone mentions a certain person and that individual feels or thinks as if their name was mishandled, Sometimes you're gonna have a rebuttal in that nature. I get it. Oh my, 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 my. You ain't got nothing else to say about the other cat, huh? Uh, the one he was talking to or talking along with you. Nah, I find man. that crazy that he excluded me and Alex because, um, I long have tried to leave it at. Let's just stop speaking on each other. So I guess perhaps maybe that's a resonated message. Okay. Free TC. Okay. All right. Sassy badass, right? Mm -hmm. Not the not the first person 
I hollered at to see if uh, the little engine that could was really from Blackstones, but the second one, the one I talked to today, I'm not saying his name because I don't know if he want his name. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna ask permission and next go around, I might have him here or 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 I might just say it. You know what I'm saying? So this same person that told me that uh, the little engine that could don't check out, he also shared that Sassy Badass DM'd him and asked him have you ever fucked Tania? Mm? And, the, and, 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 and the homie from BPS said, I don't even know her. Now, now, now that's, this on my daughter. Now, uh, when I get it, get, get permission from him to like to say his name, cause everybody ain't with the, although, right. he, although he do music, he a rapper from Blackstone. <laughs> but you should be dropping his bro now you, yeah you might as well go on and put him out there you, you, you narrowed it down to about 10 people no nah, you got a group called baby stones you got the nigga chuckster you got yaka hannes well yaka hannes a female you got uh, uh slum lord you, you got niggas, right. you know what i'm saying hey but, but i'm saying this bro i ain't gonna say his name because everybody but but I, when i get permission from him I, i'm out or so, i would let him uh you know speak for himself yeah, yeah right 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 you know what i'm saying on everything but 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 moving on bro uh, cause, cause he was trying to make it seem like he said I'm in love with his baby mama. <laughs> I know quite a, I know quite a few people that didn't nail that, that didn't nail Tania, bro. I don't yeah. have no problems with them. He yeah. said, he said, I, I was, I was, I, I, I be talking ish about Crit Mac and him because of Tania. I never said anything negative about Crit Mac in regards to Tania, bro. Mm -hmm. Ever, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna, we gonna leave it at that I can though. say this for a fact without even getting personally uh, trying to say anything toward anybody in the individual. I can just vouch for my broski, my little Relly, my cousin, my partner, my co host. He not fucked up over no females. Please <laughs> believe me that. Trust me, y'all. He's not. Just believe that. No, oh, man. Tania so cool people. She got a beautiful voice. And and I said a long time ago, I'm gonna stop bringing up that that you know what I'm saying. Don't say it. Whatever. I'm gonna mm -hmm. stop. I'm gonna stop. Unless you're trying to market it, and you know, f for the benefit of her outside uh, of you, it might be something you can. Market. I'm gonna leave it alone though, cause right. she, she pregnant by the homie from Hoover right now. So congratulations okay. on the baby coming. You know what I'm saying? Be mad at old boy from Hoover, cause he a grove you. Don't leave me alone. Baby, I don't want her. So maybe you know some people especially in their female capacity to the fullest, their main gift to society is birth, mm -hmm. giving more life. And if maybe that's what she was here to do, just I, give life. I, no, I think I think certain females is here to uh, make babies. Bro. I agree. That's what they put on earth for to, to reproduce. Because I got an auntie that, that got seven daughters, two sons. Damn, I know. Yeah, and then, then I got... I got homegirls that got a lot of kids. I think that that's what they're here for, to keep reproducing, bro. Uh, and he said that, y'all, females. But I tend to agree that that may be more of the natural purpose than what sophisticated societies have developed and all the different paths of life people choose based on career, ambitions, and aspirations. Yeah, we live in a society that humans have shaped. But I think... When a creator, when you look at nature, the animals and everything, and you look at the female's physical makeup in a way, I think you may be on to something as far as their natural intention. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Oh, my mama, my, my, my. What it do, though? Like, man, I told you before we got cracking today, mm -hmm. I'm going to need you to dry this session, man. I see you do it all the time. Shout out Alex Alonzo, Street TV, Rich at Heart. So... Uh, Kicking cack being boo, I typically get in the driver, but I'm in the passenger seat this evening, Brody. Oh yeah, no, nah, I got the keys, man. Hey, no, nah, first up on the uh, on the agenda, right? And it, 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 it was funny. To, it was funny to me. And uh, I was I was in Ironwood State Prison. You know mm. what I'm saying? So uh, cross street from Chickawala. Chickawala, Chickawala, mm -hmm. yeah. So so uh. You know, people be in prison with that in the prison they in for years and years and years. So even when I got there, it was people that was there with De DeAndre Bonds from uh the, my favorite movie, The Wood. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Stacy. Is bro. it your favorite movie because of the way it was shot or is it because the city was shot about? Uh combination. Uh, both. A little mm -hmm. a little both. I, I I like I like Stacy character. 
You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. they'll put you in the mind of people. Right. Uh, 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 they use the real Inglewood school police that pulled them over. Mm-hmm. You know so people saying? you recognize. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I look, all the, uh, excuse me. F R. Bro, I got to interrupt you real quick. Mm-hmm. One of my most recent comments on one of our kicking cack and being boo episodes, bro. Don't get the big head, homie. Mm-hmm. It was somebody sounding very intelligent, not street at all. I was like, whoa, I remember when I was in school. When we was in junior high, I can remember it was time we was trying to get out of school where the security wouldn't let us leave the school because they said, Munchie B is in the hood. You was a deep. Bro, just, <laughs> hey, look on oh, my mama, mama. You know that I just want to give you a couple flowers real quick. They might be blue, but it don't matter, bro. When you um, can sit back, be quiet and humble, and have your community tell a story like that, bro, I know. You realize the value in that, but I sent you the screenshot, but that was crazy. Motherfucker was like, I, I just need that. Hey, motherfucker was like, I remember I was in school. It was time to get out of school. Security used to lock down the school, wouldn't let us out because the mayor was around. What's up with that, man? He was terrorizing like that, homie? Oh, no. And he was on Baby Kid Time. Mm. And he was on Baby Kid Time. That's why, that's why, uh, that's why. Nate, Nate tried. You can't take from the hood and don't get back though. So they try to be humble and shit. And, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm I throw you off, but you can get back on what you was on if you remember, if you recall. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was saying Stacy from the wood, DeAndre Bonds. He was in uh, Ironwood State Prison. I guess his state wasn't so uh, smooth at, when when he was there. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, why would you suggest that? Because the stories I heard. Uh, on and off the internet, right? You know what I'm saying? And 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 I hope when he see this, he don't take it no offense. You know what I'm saying? B- because you still, you still, you still a main character in one of my my favorite movies, bro. Three Strikes, you did it up. Uh, uh, the Woods, you did it up. The other one, I don't like so much. You know what I'm saying? When you was in jail, you know what I'm do, saying? Do you realize he has a pattern of in multiple movies getting violated? No, on, only one. No, it's more than one. He got three strikes. He got. Remember, he was in a little hospital room. And then, no, but he got shot in the ass. And then the, you know, remember the, the security oh, guard the came guy. in there to help himself. Yeah. And then he went through the whole dramatic episodes in the. Uh, yeah, but that one was so much graphic, like like the other one. What was it? Lockdown. Yeah, lockdown was extremely graphic, and I know yeah. it has nothing to do with his person, no. But but him himself said he cried after he did that. I believe it, bro. Cause just man, shout out to Larry Williams and Williams Talent Agency. My agent sent me a couple years ago a script that said I was supposed to be an inmate in prison trying to get released. So I volunteered for this program where I was working in a bakery in prison, wearing a pink apron. And somewhere in the script, I had to say, yeah, I know I'm a bitch. Huh? Hmm. Over it. But a lot of people, because of their aspirations and ambitions within the industry of acting, they're willing to portray a whole lot of things that don't really mesh well with their uh, spirit. Okay, so 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 what? What if roles reverse? You got to be the big big dude in, 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 on the compound. You in the prison, and then it's a buster, and you like me. Now, now you, you about to take take his buns? Will you take that role? I don't believe so. No, sir, I can't do it. I have been responsible for raising um, three of my blood born from my testicles. Males, and then it's another three that I've been raising and having highly influenced on. That when I met them, they were one, two, and three years okay, old. Okay, so 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 you couldn't have did Damon off of, off of Friday at the next. That's what you're saying. And so never. You couldn't have did Damon. That's comedic though. So you can see yourself in some boxers in front of the it's whole world, Tupac. looking at Tupac, <laughs> acting like you want to fuck him. He said, "Oh, yeah, but think no, no, about no, no, it. No, 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 but it, it it's not graphic like. But just lockdown. think about you, not the movie. You going through the process of sitting in your boxers, oiled down, in front of cameras, and just pretending like you want to fuck a man. I don't know. I'm not an actor, bro. I I, I, I get no, 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 no. I, 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 no, I, 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 I give Terry Crews a pass, though. I, I, okay. I, but, 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 see, I give Terry Crews a pass, and I want to give an example, but I ain't trying to. Uh, I'm you give a, him a pass for saying me too, as well. Me too. What? When the females a few years ago went with the whole campaign of, you know. Oh, because I, I think he got touched on or something. Right. But he should have let them keep the, me too. He shouldn't have to. He, that's more of a, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, so it's past. Don't go that long. Okay. Yeah, you, like, you sued. You got your bread. You didn't have to go in there with the broads. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a bit much. Might as well paint your fingernail. Hey, but look, 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 look. We about to uh, run this clip with uh, Stacy out the wood. Uh, uh, Isha's sister. I think her name was Isha. Uh, Isha uh, big brother, girl said. He was playing about Isha. What? <laughs> Oh, he good. So we got to run it, run it clear real quick. You know, so uh, the dude, who his name is again? Bosco 100. No, I ain't. Uh, I don't know that. I don't know him. I don't know him. Wouldn't want to know him. No of him. He didn't have no tattoos when I met him. Man, that's a contradiction. He was on D or Ironwood. He wasn't uh, tattooed, faced all up and none of that. I saw him on the street too, cause one time in the interview he said my I was in prison and supposedly I got raped. I think I heard that out of his mouth from my mama. And when he said that, I said, Nick, you don't even know me, first of all. Second of all, who raped me? Prison is worse talking about word of mouth. Nick, prison, they gonna know about you in prison before the streets know about you. You feel me? So I heard that and I, I'm sitting like, man, why do people come up with shit like that and say things like that that are untrue? You don't even know me, uh, whatever your name is. <laughs> you never met me and you wouldn't say nothing to my face because when I saw that person on the street, I was with my brother from Inglewood on everything I love. And my brother, he my manager too. I, I'm looking, I'm on live. If you go back and look at my live, you will see my reaction. I look, I'm like, is that that nigga that said that? <laughs> Man, I, I swear to God, I got up out that car so fast and confronted that bo whoever dude is. And, and, and I'm like, what's up with you? I don't know, man, I'm a blogger. This is exactly what he said. I'm a All right, blogger, Kelly. man. All right, look. <laughs> And, and, sh and shout out his bro slash manager at the time. All right, that's the homie from Avenue Park Road, homie mm. Park. You know I'm, so I'm like, boy, coming in the hall. Like, yeah. you know so, 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 shout out, shout out, shout out to homie from, from APG, man. And, uh, hey, man, I believe, I believe Bosco <laughs> said, I'm a blogger. You know what I'm saying? I believe that, though. I, I believe that, but it ain't like it was a fear factor thing. Right. It, it, like, you, you, you came up, he touched on it, and, you know, and uh, that's what it was. But what we gonna do is we go we go tap in on uh we go tap in on Bosco, right? You know Mr. Bond? Are you are you finna call Bosco? Yo shit. Nah, hell no. Nah. I, I, nah, you I, know Bonds? No, nah, no, nah, I don't know him. But but I'm a I I, I like the characters he plays. Except for one, I like Snowfall. I like uh, Three Strikes. I like uh, the Wood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't seen Snowfall, but I know back when we was young. His rendition or portrayal of an everyday L.A. street nigga was the best we had seen um, in compare. It was him and Old Dog gave us the, not Old Dog, yeah, Old Dog. Lawrence Tate. Yeah, Lawrence Tate. They gave us the best renditions. Uh, and I think your boy had a, a cheat code because he really from out here. Oh, uh, De you, DeAndre. Yeah, he grew up so, in the swamp. Yeah, so he know what it is. But Lawrence Tate pulled off Old Dog being from out of town somewhere. That was awesome, but... DeAndre Bonds always made us think as kids and being growing up, he really from somewhere. The roles he played, we thought he was really from somewhere. Hey, where you think? Where where, where you where, where, where do you think uh, Lorenz Tate from? Ohio or something? He from Pacquama. Oh, that's why. That no wonder he had to be from close around. But I've seen him play um, a larger percentage of roles that are not street. That made me love think. Jones and shit like yeah, every that. Every other shit that he's a, he oh, nailed. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dead presidents. Oh, that, that presidents was like his borderline because that was still gangster to a degree type mm -hmm. of. But you know he's an exceptional actor, but he's never been challenged to do O Dog again. And I've never seen nobody outside of who who portrayed the L A game banger in a blockbuster film better than O Dog. He did it. He he got it. He did that. Shout out to Lorenz. And him and Kane got it. Yeah, Kane was the more low keyer version of the banger, but it was still authentic. He came across authentic as fuck too. Hmm. Well, my mama, my mama, Bosco might be somewhere getting some money, man. Bosco, my guy.
Nah, I got I got big respect for Bosco, man. On my mama, mom, we been through the whole ups and downs of this shit, nigga. Bosco. What up, bro? Hey, no, I'm right Fuck here. Fuck all that. <laughs> I'm right here with, with, with Spider, man. We kick it, kick it, be a bull, right? You already know what it do, fully. Salute. So to, to love, man. Getting it in, popping this sheet in it, looking at your boy DeAndre. We're trying to get your perspective <laughs> on some of this conversation. Man, come on. Hey, 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 hold on. Hey, 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 little, little, he, he tried to make it seem like when he seen you, he kind of like fake marks you out, though. He said he seen you on your Harley. You feel me? Bro, stop it, bro. Like, <laughs> man, I need y'all. How the nigga be like, he saw me and like, man, what's up with that shit, man? Well, man he was like, man, you talk about a nigga got raised. I was like, man, I ain't say it. But I did say that, but I wasn't, I wasn't talking about in the sense of uh, blood got his, like he got his yeast to, I was <laughs> talking about like in the sense he just, you know what I mean? He got stripped of his items, bro. That's what I was talking about. But that was really his man. You see, that was really only his main concern about what I said. You right. see, in the same sentence, the nigga admitted to everything. Yeah, that did. Nah, when they asked him, it, it, it was. It happened, yeah. Bro. So how are you saying I'm like, but so why? But why would you say it happened but try to lie and say that I wasn't there? No, no, no. No, he said he don't even know you. Then he, he said the test you may or may not have at the time. Then he said... Like uh, he said, what he said, he said, what your argument was all. Like, but what the fuck do my tats? What tats I had at the time matter <laughs> if I was there or not, bro? I was there, nigga. Like, what? Oh, he didn't have no tats at the time. So what? What the fuck do my tats got to do with you getting robbed, nigga? You got stripped, nigga, and that's all I said, nigga. You was a drunk on me, or you was a drunk on me. You was smooth. You was the homie, but. Nigga, you was a drunk, nigga. You got stripped of your shit. Nigga, you had a gambling addiction, nigga. And you got stripped, nigga. Niggas end up, the homies from Dago end up running up in your city. Where are you from? Skyline, you said? Uh, yeah, that, it was the Dago homies. Like, it was like some Skyline, <laughs> a couple of niggas. Like, it was just the Dago homies. Call like, Dago. Oh, Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Hey, you said, you said, you said, you said the, the, the skylight homie. He was one like the like like the dusty homies. He came out fresh that, that day, huh? Yeah, the homie. What was that nigga name? Bull. I think that nigga name was Bull or something. Bull. I forgot the nigga name. It might have been Bull. I think it was Bull. Yeah, those niggas, niggas, niggas came out with that nigga Jordan's on. Every day. Then this nigga talk about then. This nigga gonna talk about yeah, Captain Harold told me to get nigga, you got rolled off the yard in a real wheelchair, nigga. Next thing you know, that nigga was in a wheelchair, like now he said they laid the yard down. He said his cousin. He said his cousin was on another I yard. Swear to God, they laid the yard down and nigga was like yard down, yard down. Next thing you know, they see him you see him wheeling blood across the yard. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was the wheelchair shit the yard before he got to your yard or on, on the yard you was on? Nigga, that was on our yard. On our oh. yard. I watched blood get rolled off the yard. Hey, no, I think he said he was sick, though. He, he was sick and, and, and went man down and they wheeled him off. Uh, that nigga was trying to get up out of there, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That nigga was trying to get that nigga old nigga, bro. He was trying to get up out of there. So, that nigga lying, bro. Hey, so, no who's your phone real quick? Hey. So you could have been in the prison with everybody from Goofy Radass, DeAndre Bonds, uh, Fig Newton. Any more names that we all aware of in our sector that you've been in the prison with? I mean, I've been in the prison with a gang of niggas, bro. I know regular street niggas, but niggas that got like a presence on this, this public shit. On the internet? Yeah. Uh, nah, no, just <laughs> Okay. Snoopy weak ass. Uh, <laughs> nigga, uh, fed. Who else? That nigga DeAndre Bonds. Who else, bro? I done been in jail with, uh, like, my nigga. What's my nigga Hot Dollar? We wasn't in the pen together, but we done been in the county. And gorilla, shit. you want grill, grill Black Brother? Yeah, my nigga Hot Shout Dollar. Shout out Hot Dollar, man. He left yeah, mate, all yeah. of it. I done been in jail with Hot Dollar. I done been in jail with Drew Down. In oh yeah. Yeah, 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 Blake. Who? Mm. Robert, Robert, Blake. Robert Blake. Hold on, ain't he a murderer? Yeah, when he accused yeah, of killing yeah, his wife type shit. His wife and shit. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't in high power. Nah, I was the uh, I was the trustee. Nah, he wasn't in high power. He was in the medical ward. He was like in the medical. But I was a trustee at that time when when that uh, that time I was like on a little violation, and I was a trustee, and I used to go feed them niggas. Bro. That nigga Robert Blake, I was in jail. So 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 so. 
Uh, I was in jail with Shug. I was in there with Shug. Big Shug, Shug Knight. Yeah, that nigga. That's hard. Oh, oh, that, oh, 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 so, so that's how you and Shug got, got, got cool, and you was there when, when, yeah. when, 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 me. He remembered me from jail, but I, uh, we got cool after that. But he remembered me from jail, though. He remembered me being up in there. Okay, all right. Since we got you here, man, why y'all do? Why y'all do yuck mouth like that, bro? Mm. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 look. You said he didn't even hit him that hard. He played dead. Hey man, that's it. Uh, why we gotta relive? <laughs> hey, hey, bro, you're a part of history, bro. You know. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Them niggas, them niggas, bro. That shit was fucked up. Too. I ain't gonna lie. But like, young mouth, I ain't gonna lie. He kind of deserved what he got though, because that nigga. <laughs> hey, that, nah, I'm gonna say this. Nah, me and young mouth straight now, and shit, we don't squash that shit. But I'm just saying on the real, like in hindsight. That nigga was trying to set that nigga the real. It really shit. We mm. came up there trying to holler at the realest. And that nigga, well, Young Mouth was trying to set that nigga up, bro. He was calling, that, hey, come up here. Man, woo, he was trying to call that nigga. The realest knew something was up, nigga. He didn't fuck with it. He was like, nah, fuck that. Oh, and he, said, nigga, and he said the goons instead of pulling up. Yeah, oh, God. That nigga, uh, nah, he didn't say no goons. Nigga, nigga y'all the goons. <laughs> nigga on blood, nigga. Nah, nigga. niggas was, niggas was already, he was already around the go. The goons was waiting for him. Mm. That nigga Young Mouth was trying to shut that nigga up. No, I ain't gonna lie. He was calling that nigga into the. He knew niggas was on. He like, man, yeah, pull up here, man. I'm at the house. Ooh, nigga, he was trying to walk that nigga. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. He trying to look. He walked that nigga into a trap, bro. Mm. Hey, so, 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 if Young Mouth want to do a boxing match with you, what you talking about? Yeah, man, I just seen Young Mouth. The last time I just seen Young Mouth at a boxing match, man, I'm trying to pop up nothing to a minute. In Pasadena? Hold on, you said the last time. No, you said the last time you seen him. I just saw that nigga at 600 fight. That wasn't a fight. The boxing match. Man, he talking about the nigga was fighting a nigga four times smaller than him. Yeah, that bullshit. Like I just seen, but I'm saying, I just seen that nigga. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, but 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 he a Bay Area nigga. You know, Bay Area niggas, they more players. Saucy, like you, you think? Nah, but yeah, yeah, nigga really, I fuck with yeah, though, really. Nigga, I respect. Nah, he a legend in this shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, nigga, I grew up. I wasn't never trying to like beef with yeah, but you just happened to be there. My story is my story, bro. I tell you, you know what I mean. I ain't act like I ain't gonna cap. Yeah, uh, Gonzo, my story is my story. Gonzo, 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 and uh, 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 uh yuck, the only niggas that went toe to toe with you, nigga, with this bag and shit going. I, 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 cause, cause, yeah, yeah, yuck has some funny shit to say too. Oh, he would. Not really though. Not nah, really. his I, shit was funny. Oh, hey, yuck, it wasn't that funny, nigga. You put a. No, 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 no. Hey, no, 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 hold on, nigga, hold on, hold on. After, 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 after his first initial little shit, then you went off. But this first little, <laughs> he talking about how he first met you in the studio. Come on, bro. You, you trying to say that wasn't funny? It was all right. Tell all Bosco right. I said it's time to shave the face. Shave. It was all right. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, 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 uh, uh, Spider said it's time to shave that thing, bro. You not Kimbo Slice. <laughs> He said it's time to say that shit. It's always these niggas that can't grow no facial hair. Oh, Ain't can't. that a bitch? I, nigga, I didn't try. Hey, look, bro. Hey, hold on, hold on. You I didn't find, you? bro, I got my hair moving. My hair moving. It might be moving slow, but it's moving, nigga. My hair moving <laughs> on top of my head. No, yeah, see, yeah. Niggas can't grow no beard. I, I helped you out with that. Like, I told you I gave you some good advice. You I did. Took it. I'll see you out here now. Hold <laughs> on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> It's slow, it's slow. I think for that facial, I'm gonna have to go face first with my female too often. I ain't with all that facial hair. No, I'm finna cut this shit. Don't try. It's hot, nigga. I'm finna cut this shit. Now you look crazy. I be seeing you look crazy in the mud. No, I be doing that. I'm wolfing right now. I, do I know shit it. On purpose. I know it. I do that shit on purpose. I do that shit on purpose. Salute. Hey, hey when you gonna come through, fool? Uh, probably like next week. I could do something next week. This yep. week was just, nigga, I had a gang of shit going on this week. I got some shit. I got a podcast to do tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, like uh, next, uh, like next week, we'll be straight. Well, well, West, right. what, West Side Podcast? Uh, uh, I'm supposed to do uh, Indicted TV. I got to do Indicted. Okay. And Shout I out, Angie. Uh, my boy, she, my boy getting this shit up and running. I got to do that shit. I was, trying to, I, that. I was trying to slide up to Indicted, but I don't think it'll happen now. I think we in politics on uh LA Icon on straight politics and he don't want me hollering at his at his wife. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to go on there. I like the whole little Oh, that's his wife show? That's his that's his, oh, that's his female. Uh the, oh, okay. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the attractive hyena. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. yeah. 
No way. She's cool as fuck though. I ain't met him yet. I met her. I talked to her. We I was supposed to go last week, nigga, but I was still in San I didn't get back from San Diego in time. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Tell her, tell her Munchie B trying to pull up like Huggies on Inglewood. Yeah, I put a uh, good word in for you. On Inglewood. She's a, she's a very, very, very beautiful black, uh, uh, I mean, brown. No, she do, I like how she's doing it. I like, I just like the movement she's making the noise. No, no, I like the whole feel of, feel of the, 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 the girl. That's what I'm like. Bosco. She act like she don't like cameras or she kind of like don't want to do this, but if you could bring my niece, the little homegirl, Nina Seven, which when you pull up, you the go. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, you know, I love her. You know, that's my dog for love. Yeah, I know. So just bring her with you, and that's going to be real East Woody for me. Hey, hey, no, stay dangerous, bro. And we're we going to get back with you, bro. We're going to probably link next week, and you pull up like Huggies, bro. Yeah, I'm good. All right, yeah, bet. Next week, next, week, next week will be smooth. My shit will be open. Yep, yep. I'm going to hit you after this. All right, bet. All right, buddy. Yep, all salute. Right, hey, shout out Alex Lonzo and Big Court. From Big Court TV because me and Bosco, the whole public. Big Court or Holden Court? Holden Court podcast. Big Court from Holden Court podcast. Mm -hmm. Me and everybody, you know, me and Bosco had zero understanding one with the other. Whole bunch of trolling, disrespect, and all that. But Alex and uh, Big Court, and they weren't even best of friends. Both had personal interest in me and Bosco getting an understanding, and they both went out their way to make sure that we did the best we could to figure out if this was something we had to continue with the disrespect or if it was something we could figure out. And because those two individuals really desired for us to communicate, me and Bosco figured that bullshit out and we ain't skipped the B since. So salute to uh, Alex, uh, Big Court, and Bosco, and Nina Seven, the homegirl. She at that age. Really, that's my niece. Watched her be born. I watched her in her mama belly. Shout out, shout out Nina Seven. Mm -hmm. I, ain't gonna, I know Nina Seven. I know you do. You know, a few of my folks that's feminine around my side of the town. I mean, the East of La Costa's, they, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 it. I like, I like it over there. Is it okay if I play a clip? Okay, now you ain't got Or have you got your in whole, I know you had some shit you wanted to present. You finish it all, because I got a clip I've been kind of like in the cut trying to surprise you with. Oh, for real? Yeah. Hey. Production, can I get that uh that young Aunt Hefe, man? Cause I don't know if you seen my re recent episode of S Talk. I ain't check it out. Okay, young Aunt Hefe, Tiny Aunt, A Trey Gangsters been through here. Shout and out, uh not Tiny Aunt, Young Aunt. Young Aunt. Yeah, shout out Young Aunt. Oh, and uh the re the phrase swoop and moving and grooving happened to come up. <laughs> Bro, look, nah, for real, we gotta set the record straight. Oh, niggas, hey, know, niggas know how I young, can act. Young, hey, young Aunt Hefe hey, don't, don't care ahead, about nothing what the checks so, say. Boom. Let's talk. We was, we, was, we was in the county jail, so, you know, they be having that suwoo, groove and moving shit. Right. Um, Munchie I'm, swear I'm, that I'm shit not, ain't real, ain't never I'm, been real. I'm not, I'm that's not, real. no, that shit is like, real. That shit you move it. Come on, bro, that shit is, bro, look. Munchie, 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 Munchie know that shit real. I'm in 1300, nigga, I listen to me, listen to me, bro, so. Boom, that, that that shit is real. That shit is real. Niggas know that shit is real. So me Bunch, you talk. Um, like me, I'm not with that, never been with that, bro. Like I'm strictly eight Trey Gangsters moving, bro. I don't need no help, bro. From South Central LA, really from over there, bro. I don't know nothing about no help, bro. So I ain't been clicked up with nothing. I ain't never been in the car with other nothing to do nothing to none of that, bro. Like I'm like I'm you feel me? Right. On everything. Like that's what I stand on, like ETG, bro. So I'm in there. This was the situation. We was in a dorm and um I was in there at this time with my little cousin from Blackstone. So Munchie had just came down, I think, from the pen. And you know, like they were they was on him. You know what I'm saying? Like I think it was like, like I think it was like some phase or people talking about they wanted to line him up. So, however, that got back to my little cousin from Blackstone. So, my little cousin, my blood cousin, he like, hey, um, man, it's a little situation. I'm like, what's up? He like, um, I think they trying to line Munchie up over there with Woosh. I'm like, what you mean trying to line him up? So, in the dorm next door, it was a gang of, like, neighborhoods over there. So, he like, yeah, they trying to line him up. So, I'm like, um, so what you talking about? He like, man, I just want to go over there and make sure he's straight. So I'm like, all right, bam. So bam, when we went out for the little pill call, I seen my cousin push over there. So I pushed over there with my cousin. So when we push over there, boom, we push over there. There's a gang of homies from the neighborhood. So my stance was like this. This is what I told the homies. I'm like, hey, look, bro, it's a gang of niggas over here. Y'all know I'm over here, bro. Niggas ain't been tripping, bro. I'm like, 
niggas don't pick and choose, bro, because y'all feel like y'all got the easy win with Munchie. Because y'all didn't trip on me, y'all ain't trip on other niggas, bro, so don't do that. Right. So niggas like, all right, but what niggas did try to do, it got kind of tricky. So it was an out of town nigga when you in ready, there from know. like St. Louis 60. So they try to. No, 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 keep it going. Oh, keep it going. Going. Pump the St. Louis. Matter of fact, your little homie was in there too. One of the C Bops in there, little brown skin nigga. Cub was in there. They try to go to a he, nigga from St. Louis. He was 60. raised by a bullshit ass nigga. On so, stay on so bullshit. They try to, so they try to pump the nigga from St. Louis 60s up to take a face. Oh, right. So St. Louis from 60s nigga, this nigga look like a scrapyard dog. <laughs> 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 hey, look, 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 hey, bro, look. Cub, 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 look. Yeah, he look like he been through the war zone. <laughs> Cub, Cub, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I was confused the nigga. <laughs> nigga like, bro, cut, come on. So they like, well, look, all right. So they was like, like, well, he he gonna take a phase. So a nigga like, bro, where you from? So he like, oh, I'm from 6-0. I'm like, bro, from where? So when I heard a nigga ask somebody from where, so he like from St. Louis. So I'm like, hey, look, <laughs> I said, check this out, bro. I said, look, homie, if ain't nobody from the house gonna get down, bro, this, this nigga ain't about to fight nobody. That's this nigga right. from St. Louis, bro. Like, this right. nigga just came down here and went to jail. Yeah, you bro, know. we ain't doing that, bro. We ain't going to do that one. If right. ain't nobody from the house getting down, first and foremost, yeah, right. he's, he's not even about to get no fade. All right. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, no, 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 no. See, uh, I, I touched on it on, on, on one of my videos at Rachel Hart, and I shouted out uh, Young Ant because I'm like, shit, he ain't no homie. He ain't no blood, so... When I when I got called down from the pen, cause uh I had some business to handle, so boom, I fall on the five thousand flow. You know what I'm saying? Boom, I fall in there. Now, now uh when I went in there, I, well, all the phase I had to catch, I already caught that shit. Cause gloves, YG security, Baby Don mm. from Villain, his hood name Baby Don. So now when I get in there, they like uh they all in the huddle acting like. This is a figure of speech. Like, they want to rock, paper, scissors for who get down with me first type shit. <laughs> but the homie Baby Don get at them like, hey, blood, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Blood on blood, stone feeling. Y'all ain't about to line the homie up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. So, bang for Melo, like, man, look, check this out. You know what I'm saying? The homies ain't that X, Y, and Z on the streets. Whoa, we said, well, guess what? We all about to get down there. So, anybody that know gloves, you go to his Instagram. You know what I'm saying? He's not a little guy. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So, he pill out, chest jumping and shit. <laughs> so, then they get back in their circle. And they come back like, all right, he go get down with him. You know what I'm saying? I get down with little C6 from 40s, right? When you say he, who getting down with gloves? Who is he? No, no, not get down with gloves. No, who is he? You say he gonna get down with them. Who getting down with gloves? No, 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 no. Oh, Ain't no get down ahead. with gloves. All gloves right. told them, all right, we go, we, we all gonna get down there. Y'all think it's about to be more than one fair? We all about to. So, you know what I'm saying? They got back in their huddle and they figured it out and they said, okay. Somebody else, okay. He go get down with Munchie. Oh, same side. Okay. Which was, he, his name is Lil C Six from Forty. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I I get down with him. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Although they said, uh, although the homie said that's it. You know what I'm saying somebody pulled him to the side, like, and and and, and expressed that he he need that. You know what I'm saying? Well, so on, on Inglewood, like, you know, what I'm saying? he came to me. I'm like, man, we could. We can run it. I'm not tripping, boom. So it was Infant Hood from, from, from 660 East Coast. So like, we going to do it tomorrow. I go to court, I come back at the court, man, Infant Hood, get down. It was, and after that, uh, it was, it was, it was, I got down with, when, when Ops came in there, they, I got down with more niggas, right? Mm. So all this happened maybe the first two, three days. Now, my boy Bam Bam from BPS, free, free, free bro. That's my boy. That's my, that's, that's my dog, right? Mm. So I didn't know him and, uh, I didn't know him and Young Ant was related. You know what mm. I'm saying? And until and and I, I spoke on this on the internet, then Young Ant said that they, they, they relatives, so boom. So it's somebody over there from 60s trying to relate a message over there, like Munchie over there, get him, find him, <laughs> X, Y, and Z. Mm. Uh, bam, bam, hear what he heard. And he like, man, what? That's when he told Young Ant, like, bro, I'm about to go check on Munchie. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? They go off a pill car, and then when I do, boom, him. Young gang and the, and the homie from Ram coming here, you know what I'm saying? Like what's going on, young uh, while Bam Bam over there, he get down with Infant Kitty from uh from Harlem. They get down. Now, Young Gang was trying to PG thirteen things. Now I, I don't remember his name being no C, but he wasn't. A, 
I think that was Murdoch, bro. He from five seven. Young Ant was like, he need that with him, and he told him no. Like he, it's not going. Mm. Like he cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Not. It was. Go it wasn't no bop. I, I I believe his name was Murdoch, and he got oh, okay. he got he got unless he got to fix his teeth. His he got a tooth missing. You know what I'm saying? So so. And I think and I don't I don't know how he meant it, but I think they tried to get the dude from uh St. Louis Sixties to get out with Ant, and Ant like. This nigga's turning and down, fade down from the house. He looking like y'all throwing him out there. What's up with y'all? I don't recall him like not not with me with the dude from St. Louis sixties. You know what I'm saying? Like he did look rough. Like he lived a hard life. The dude was easy. Like you know, he, oh, he, well, I don't know how he came down here called a case or whatever. Was that you? Is that you that get a reaction that no, that was Ant? About the nigga one? like a guard. He said he looked like a. Yeah, he just described it country fed, extra over Man, ready bro, to go bro, type. Bro, bro, he looked he looked like like no disrespect to our ancestors, but he looked like a like like, like a slave. But like uh but see and but but he had like in his eyes, you know what, like one of them got the frightened looks. He just like he like frightened all the time. Like, mm. But 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 no 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 the the, the St. Louis Six he, he wasn't I I don't recall him talking about nothing with me though, but when 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 Aunt Bam Bam and I mean from Brim came in here, my, my face was already caught, but I appreciate, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like he he know blood. He ain't gotta uh come Much. you know what I'm saying? So so he, every time you say St. Louis Sixties, no across my mind. What's that? Watching this young uh trial and the lawyer talking about if gang, if gang, if gang. Hmm. And I'm sitting there in my living room by myself wondering, do I know does she not know what she's saying or not? And I just want to give you the opportunity to speak on that or let it pass. She looking at it on paper and, and IF is if. You feel me? She now knowing it's IFG or whatever. You feel me? But, <laughs> I but, know. <laughs> but but the homies be like, if till we stiff and all that. We say that. But she, okay. she, she her just being a DA, ignorant to like, you know what I'm saying? California but, gangs. You know what I'm saying? She's like, if. But with her being ignorant, if is the same thing as IF. Yeah, and well, y'all, no, 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 we be saying the homies got that tatted. If. If till we stiff, like, you know what I'm saying? Say like, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, free, yeah, free YFN, bro. Like, like right now. On Eaglewood. But but yeah, no, nah, shout out, shout out young Ant though. No, nah, he a real one. But hold on for for this soul moving and groving thing, right? Mm, please though. Now, now, now when before I was even hitting the county jail, bro, the early thousands, it was like uh when Ali Bob and then was going through the county jail and all that, like it was that it, it when everybody started rapping about the 2000 flow, all the neighborhoods, the Crips, it, it was born in the early 2000s where it was notorious for the neighborhoods, right? So anything that opposed neighborhood, whether you was gangster Crip or a blood that beef for neighborhoods, you was getting ran. It wasn't no fair. It was no none none of that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So now. It, it, it was homies on the 4,000 flow, and, and it was some gangsters, some some hovers, and you know, quite naturally, it became a label. Like, oh, they up there sewer moving and groving. You know what I'm saying? That's it was, it was a label. So it it, was, it wasn't never. We ain't never met up with no H track gangsters like this. What we doing or with no mm. hovers? All this sewer moving. It, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a label that end up sticking. Now you got some people that that, that roll with it. Like, yeah, we sewer moving and groving. Me personally, like like. Uh, I don't put sewer moving and grooving, but never have, never in my life. Mm -hmm. But 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 I got I got bros from Hoover and A Trey. But guess what? If I'm in a dorm and, and it's an A Trey gangster in there or a Hoover, it, I'm not gonna let them get ran. So I can mm. see why they say that though. You know what I'm saying? Because if we the minority and it's a gang of neighborhood Crips, I'm I'm gonna help out. All I see is if us as black folks, gang right. members, right, can dissect and differentiate that much we should be wise enough to be able to throw it all out and all get along because there's no di that much difference between a super a mover a grover a coaster a neighborhood or a blocker a grover this we all the same it's the same she it. it's all about where our parents got horny at and where they was living at that time and when they got pregnant where we was happened to be born that's the only thing that separates us bro yeah, no, no, that, no, that's fast. A lot of times that's dictated by poverty because 
had anybody had their own way, none of us would have been born in Watts, Compton, South Central, Inglewood, Long Beach, in the midst of the struggle. We would have been born elsewhere with unlimited resources and opportunities, and we wouldn't even be tapped in to this shit that made us who we are. That's factual. But, you know, that, 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 that was that, though. But me personally, bro, like, you know what I'm saying, I, I don't push to a move in the grooving, but I got hella love for the egg trays and the hovers. You know what I'm saying? From from juvenile hall on up, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have the same ops, so we didn't share the same struggles and things like that. But you know, one thing I do, I do hate, mm. like, you, you'll hear, uh, you will hear like uh, a neighborhood crib get on an interview or in front of a camera say that they clicked up for for the for the sixties or stuff like that. Like, and that's it. Like, like that's the farthest from the truth. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, what I'm saying they forget that the eight trades in the sixties that was that was that was best friends at one point, and they was both getting in the same car coming towards Inglewood. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, so we didn't need no help then. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm like. And then I, I don't like when a lot of people bring up the sewer moving, grooving uh, subject to people from the hood that don't know how to articulate themselves and know, how to, know what I'm saying, or don't really know what they talking about. They, they make the hood look sound dumb, as, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, so, bro. So right now, what I'm hearing you say is the concept of sewer moving and grooving is dumb. It's who? Dumb. Dumb? That concept as a connection, cohesive movement. You don't, you never have, and you never will ascribe to that. And when it was, it's a dumb concept. That's what I thought I heard you say. I ain't gonna say it's dumb. It ain't no dumb oh, okay. concept because I participate in the concept, but it ain't no label. It ain't no name for it with me. Like, cause I, cause I, I would, I would, I wouldn't like, like let a, uh, if I'm around, I wouldn't let no neighborhood crib. This me being 100%, you know what I'm saying? Pre me getting shot. I wouldn't let no neighborhood crib line, no. Hoover and OA tray up. But where the dec discrepancy come in at, I might be like, nah, man, that shit ain't straight. I might have a homie from the east side that don't care about this gangster neighborhood uh feud. They an east side domo. They looking like, man, cause they gotta if I go, they gotta go. You know what I'm saying? So they looking like, oh, man, what did you what yeah, I don't give a I'm like, man, no, it ain't happening though. No I'm gonna let that die right there, cause this shit bleeding over to the depths of understanding that a lot of our, you know, YouTube followers. They have no idea, but that's deep. yeah. We, 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 I get we it, yeah. For, for the out of towners, the, the listeners, we, we have to do game bang and politics one on one. Matter of fact, we don't though, because it don't even matter. To, it's, it, it, it don't even. You know what I'm saying? You know, what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking for one of my comrades. He has an idea. He's been developing outside of me called Press Five. Can you remember the last time you press five? Yeah. What happens when you press five? The car go through from. From the jailhouse. Yeah, so that's a, I won't say his name, but it's a, a marketing idea he has that he wants to do a concept where we take calls from people and incarcerate, and the title is Press 5. I invited him to do it here in the black box. Let's do it, bro. We've been building it. Let's break it. Press 5 is going to be another segment. Sometimes you could be on Press 5, and some of your people can be the ones who call in, and we just dialogue with those people. It's called Press 5. Oh, that sounds like a cool little concept. Salute. So, though, you have some old little ideas you want to talk about tonight, man. You driving, man. I'm in the passenger seat. I don't like to be a backseat driver. Where we going? Talk to me. Hmm. All right. All right. Okay. I don't know if this go. Uh, hmm. Let me see. Um, all right. F it. You know what I'm saying? I might have to put spider on the spot knot. You hear me? Hold on. Let me see. Because, hmm. you know. God damn it. I no, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? It's all careful. good. Uh. <laughs> You know how we oppose rats. You know what I'm saying. You know, you know how we coming. Fuck all rats. You, you know anybody who is. love them or like them or be around them or be cool with them. Uh, you, Nina Boy, uh, Brick Baby, then came down on on Cowboy by 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 his testimony. You know what I mean. Uh, so with that being said, you seen the recent thing with uh, Brick Baby and and White White Cell Wood, Woody, right? Mm, I haven't seen it. I've seen reactions to it. If you've seen reactions to it, you've seen so it. Though. I, yeah, so okay, they, say less. Yeah. Okay. So, so my thing is, being being that that he goes so hard on cowboy, he was a no jumper. He 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 uh he he held court on 
big sad. Mm. Uh, and then he go to Atlanta, and then you know he flicking it up mm. and, and intermingling with YSL Woody, 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 whatever. What what do you have to say about that? You know what I'm saying? Being that that's your neighborhood counterpart. You know what I'm saying? That's Broski. He from Lister Crip. I could never get ahead of him or justify anyone volunteering themselves to be photographed with anyone who testified on behalf of the prosecution or said anything that could aid in the um you know, incrimination or incarceration to anybody in any potential way. So the fact that he chose to do that, I totally am in disagreeing against that. I would have never done that. However, I've spoken to him since he did it. Oh, y'all holler? Yeah, he hit me up and he, you know, I think he assumed that I was aware. He hit me up at a time when I wasn't aware he had took the photo. Mm. And Fuck with the public thing. We just recently got back on track how we used to be just regular homies chopping up. He hit me up. He started reacting to the fact that he took the picture, assuming that I had known he had taken the photo and I hadn't taken it. And he was just giving me his rationale of why he felt comfortable taking the picture. Why he felt comfortable? He feels like if Woody would have done whatever we consider he did um, to Thug, to him, nobody would give a fuck. He's a media professional. Who oh, a media professional? Uh, why sell Woody or no or? Brick Baby? Okay, okay. He said he knew Woody way long before any of this. That's another reason why he was comfortable. While he <clears throat> refused to interview him and was uninterested in being photographed for him, he said they were having like sex separate photo ops and would he invite him hey let's get one in and according to brick he just all right took the picture with him and all his calculated mental process that he shared with me was nigga told on me would nobody be treating him different and i'm only in doing this for the space of being a media personality a lot of things of that nature so that's about all he said so he basically saying they only cared out of your snitch because he because he because he because he cooperated on young thug well he also talked about how gangster little <laughs> woody was and nobody out there is doing nothing to him why should he show up and take the responsibility upon himself we know and, a gang of gangster snitches though they got it from every hood you know what i'm saying the snitches that, that, that you, they didn't want to fight their case identifying or are you just saying in general Nah, I'ma just talk in general. Okay. I, and I believe they from every hood. You got you got them snitches that's dangerous that'll do something to you. They told they they you, you, you know your pointing finger and your trigger finger is the same finger, bro. They they, they 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 bro, you got them from every hood though. So but I'm saying that ain't that ain't no excuse to flick it up with them now. You know what I'm saying? Cause cause I agree. cause 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 like like Is there ever an excuse? You, you, Even you, though that's not an excuse, right? So cause I agree with you that that's not an excuse. But is there an excuse that you or I might not right now be thinking with to ever, ever, ever flick it up with him? I, well, well, well. If, at that point, you shouldn't consider yourself an active game member no more. You just uh, a media personality, a, a podcaster, and you doing your job. You know what I'm saying? Because because YSL Woody, he he uh, viral right now. You know what I'm saying? And then you doing your job, and that's the excuse. If you if you if you no longer an active member no more, do you look saying? like YSL Woody um, and then Brick Baby saying, "Oh, I photograph with him," but that's the end of it because Brick told me, "Y'all took the picture with him, but I refused to interview him because I'm not." So, do you look at that any way in comparison to where you look at holding on hundred and Takuchi six nine Takuchi? Is uh, there a way I, to entertain this individual as a rat without co-signing him? I don't, I don't put I don't, I don't put I don't put Brick Baby on the same level as uh what you call him, Takushi or or Wack Money. No, I'm talking about uh Woody. Is Woody and Takuchi on the same level? Uh yeah, telling so is we, telling. So we're so yeah. we talking about being photographed with 
to Coochie or Woody. Either or. Who or whoever else falls into that category if you Man, why is that Woody a snitch whether 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 It seems like a lot thug, of people get fucked up with his gangsterism. Whether whether he whether Thug beat this case or not. Why is that Woody's a, a snitch? But bro? you know what's going on. People saying the gangsterism and saying, So what? He's a snitch. He's a gangster. Y'all scared of him. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing to him. He's running around doing what he wants. So what he's a snitch. And because the internet audience that's the power that his. But, but I think he's a snitch that got cameras on him. He got eyes on him. He, he in the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? Told you, bro. I think I think I think I think if if YSL would he get touched, uh, uh, like it'd be a more of a big deal to find who. who killed told him you, Brick. I versus, told you, know you that. Saying? But you know what I'm saying? He, bro, he a snitch throwing through. It. I mean, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree, man. I'm just in the process of kicking cack being boo. Have you ever did any research to understand, understand, understand if you have music that you are monetizing? What is the smallest amount of that music I could play on my channel without owing you, homie? Because you got a hit song. Whether there's a big company behind it pushing it as a hit in our culture, kicking cack being boo, the record is a hit record. I know it was an inspired. It was inspired by us coming together, but you did your thing, and now you're monetizing it. But every time I try to play it for our benefit, I'm getting charged. I don't want to pay you to play our song, oh, bro. No, we go. We go figure out a whitelist that thing. So we got yeah, that. That motherfucker was hard though. Everybody uh, go f with uh, King Cack being bull by me on us out there. It's what you be solo. The remix will include me, whether it's next month or next year. There will be a remix on the exact same beat. Mm -hmm. But until then, that's a theme song for our movement. We've been here about an hour. You know, we try to commit ourselves to 60 minutes of conversation every time we come together. What else on your mind? Okay. This is this, all right, this what I want to ask you. You, you. Do you think Shannon Sharp said <coughs> that was an accident? He came in there, he threw his phone on the bed, and went on live. From what I know, you hit a couple buttons. It's, you go through some channels to get to the live. You know what I'm saying? He said, he threw it on the live, and then he had a moment, and it was shared with the world, and he didn't know that it was being recorded on live. I may have been a tattletale. Not, not, not that it that you seen anything graphic, but you heard the. I've you know heard. Saying? I've never been a tattletale, but I would say this. Hmm. I don't believe. I don't either, bro. And then and from what I hear, he has recently got a, a, a Viagra a sponsorship or something. Oh, it is. A who? Porn. Look, y'all. Mm, 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 don't mm. fall asleep on the fact that it's Hollywood, it's production. The majority of everything you see that's filmed on purpose, recorded on purpose, presented to you intentionally. A lot of that is predicted and scripted and, pro and um, produced. If you're looking for even reality TV, when you look at the real scripts, it says uh, scripted based, it's scripted reality. So if you think you're going to stumble up on somebody's most intimate moments online and they didn't know that they were able to, they didn't know what was going on, you're tricking yourself. But I don't want to knock this hustle. If he got a large percentage of the public thinking that was an accident and that's what he intended to do to cut a check, salute to him for getting his bread. Hey, man, I'm a Shannon Sharp fan because I'm a football fan. Uh, he, like, one of the greatest uh, tight ends I ever played. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Top 10 for sure. But that's cap. Hey, bro, for, for a man that never went live in his life because he never, he never went live on Instagram ever in his life, bro. And then you accidentally go live, and then you got to go through channels and hit, hit like maybe four buttons to get get go to live. A lot of people say he went live, not in a female, because he's been under heavy scrutiny about being attracted to other people, the females. And I don't believe that though. I don't believe that that man, funny bunny man. Hey, for one, he he made a good. Uh, I forgot. I forget who he was interviewing about going public with women. They said that because he never really went public with a woman before. Now, now, and and who, they, who was he interviewing? He, he said, "You don't go public. You ain't got to announce it when, when it ain't good no more. Cause you, you know, when when, when these celebrities break up or even take a break, they announce it. Oh, we Nip and Lauren London did it. 
Oh my! Why the bro? That was the f- I can't believe you. Yeah, they sure What's did. What's that? No, 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 no. I was no, thinking no. that, and that's the most obscure example. We have a million examples. I was thinking that, and you mentioned that one. That's just crazy. No, nah, because our following is is is, is, is California based, so that that that's that it will resonate. They did it, even though they came back together afterwards. But like they 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 announced it. That, that's what celebrities do. Oh yeah, well, we just uh, need some time. Like, all that, you know what I'm saying? And then whoever he was interviewing, I can't remember. He 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 under like, oh, you made a good point. You know what I'm saying? And then they get on him about. He don't like black women. You know, he stay with a little white broad. I don't know. That's his preference. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then they say how he walk. Man, he got two He got two hip replacements, bro. The, the, the dude was in the NFL getting banged up. Ah, uh, Shannon Sharp, yeah, that man, I, I highly doubt that man is uh, a part of the community. You know what I'm saying? I have that much, um, not, I won't say faith, but I have that much hope in our community and our masculinity overall. That Shiny Sharp is just a guy that loves to be a man, love women, and have as many children as he can. I hope that's all he is. Not that I actually care, but I happen to tend to believe in a certain brand of masculinity that I think that, or I claim to be a, a member of. Hmm. And I think that's the... Even if it takes the smallest portion of that type of masculinity, I think that's what it takes to establish yourself as a member of a culture, um, a community. Anytime you have people that's, that's adverse or different from you, when it's time to oppose those people, I think it's the masculine, the masculine element that causes everybody to get understanding and respect one another. A whole bunch of females show up disagreeing, guess what you're going to have? A all-out brawl, maul, and fight. When you have a bunch of men showing up to conversate about disagreements, typically men factor in everything that could possibly happen if I'm going up against something that I can't physically handle and I'm going to make my decision based on that. And I think that gets lost a lot of time when you're debating with females and they got men behind them. So I ain't really tripping on to that extent. We just kicking cack being boo, and man, I'm feeling it. Shout out Shannon Sharp, man. One of the greatest tight uh, uh, ends to do it. Yeah, man. Oh, everything. And then he, and then he, then he got Marlon Wayne's over there after he turned Vlad down. Well, not turned him down. Uh, Charging. He, he couldn't. He couldn't come to a compromise with uh, Vlad. You know, so he went over there with, with uh, Shannon and did it up. They did a million in a day. Did that. You know what I'm saying? I think Vlad don't realize that Marlon was looking at him in the eyesight as our ancestors that was on motherfucking stage being auctioned off and being sold in slavery. <clears throat> Marlon was looking at Vlad like one of the white people looking at the black people saying, he's for sale. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he's saying, guess what, Vlad? The price is up now. You want a nigga on your shit? The price is up. I think Vlad took that too personal. Shout out to Marlon for standing on principles, integrity. You don't need him. You, you, you made your point very clear. Outsiders trying to tap into our industry, into our culture. They've been getting access to it for super cheap. And one of our elite established members said, nah, I'm going to overcharge you. And if you don't like it, I'm going to give it to one of my counterparts for even cheaper. Vlad, you just got to deal with that. Imagine you and I infiltrating Vlad's uncle, cousin, brother, sister, friend of his culture that's built the industry. Imagine us infiltrating it. How difficult do you think that would be? To where you could go get at a Vladimir's cousin, brother, that's his culture, and say, I don't like Vlad, he didn't did this, he tried to charge me too much. You think that would be simple? Much you want to get on Vlad. I wouldn't mind going on Vlad. <clears throat> I don't mind going on, getting on that, but but shit, that, that that wouldn't help me from uh, speaking my mind though. I, I think he should have gave Marlon the forty thousand, but the I think the thirty percent on the back end with the essence, I think that was a bit much. But the whole purpose of even throwing it out there is just to like I'm not messing with you. So that was but that. You, you, but this is why thirty percent is fair and even generous. If you are reaching out to me. Asking me, what does it take for me to interview you? 
Everything that comes in, I have no overhead. You're going to come here. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to make a certain amount of dollars, whatever it is. If you only get a half a percent of the profit, what is your problem? Because you're not going to get it unless you're talking to me. That's why you asked to talk to me. But but to say but to say uh forty thousand, I think he I think Marlon Wayne's worth forty thousand. I just didn't agree with the thirty percent on the back end. But see, what if you would have paid the thirty? You would have agreed to that, and then you would have got a lackluster type interview. Then what? Well, when you when you sign a record deal, you sign it before you turn it into records, and they basically agree to certain stipulations. And but 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 the artists they 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 still benefit after signing and turning in the records. Yeah, yeah. But ver, ver, versus Marlon Wayne, if he would have got the got got the interview for forty thousand, the thirty percent on the back end, he would have did ah yawned the whole interview, would have went and did a better interview somewhere else. That's different. Hey, it's a lot of things I've seen Marlon Wayne's present himself in the public that I don't agree with recently. But I'm glad and I agree a Google percent with him giving whatever price he desired to make flat no, feel. He stood on business. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. give a f what number he said. It's a number he said. Vlad didn't like it. Vlad was put in a position where I had to observe and acknowledge he's an outsider seeking acceptance to the inside, regardless of what he'd done before. If it's too expensive, you don't want to come to this party. What you thought about Marlon? your assessment of what he has accomplished or established amongst us, that's irrelevant. He wants this. And if the price is too steep for you, that's all it is. You took it personal, man. Hmm. What you think about all the backlash about Kendrick being named for this new Super Bowl and the people thinking that it should have been Wayne and Kendrick got enough shine last month with all the Drake shit, do you think that Jay-Z or the NFL execs decided upon Kendrick thinking about Lil Wayne or was it totally separate and the internet is just overreacting? Uh, see, uh, I'm home team, so so I like that. I like that uh, Kendrick, his number was called to do the halftime show. That's from what, and then he got the uh, he got the biggest song in the nation right now, hmm. period. You know what I'm saying? So, but I played two clips on Richard Hart when I interviewed Roshi, and uh, he expressed way in February on two different interviews how he would love to be a part of the halftime show in, in 2025 during the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. Now, where I, where, where I get conf, conf, confused at is, I know at one one point, Jay-Z was interested in uh, signing Lil Wayne. Then you got Lil Wayne that paid homage. He say, the greatest rapper alive since the greatest rapper retired. And then you, you hear like little jabs going back and forth in songs. You got baby money and all that little... So I don't know where they relationship stand, and I know he's supposed to pay pay Lil Wayne taxes at one point. I don't know if they they cool or they not, right? But see, I think I think he the face of Louisiana, New Orleans. He 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 got the better catalog, and then if you did a halftime show, it'd probably be a better halftime show with Lil Wayne because he could bring more people out. He got more collabs and more. You know what I'm saying? But mm. But Kendrick got the biggest, biggest song in the nation right now. Yeah. So can you I, I, mark I, a year when the biggest artist with the biggest record was the person that performed at the Super Bowl? But then people forget. Okay, uh, Jay Z over the halftime committee, but it's a panel. It ain't just Jay Z. Do Jay Z make the last call? We don't know. So, yeah, I think people are jaded with just having Jay-Z's name attached to the decision-making process, and they think that he's the final answer. They tend to realize we watched before uh, Kendrick Drake was considered. We watched 20, 30, 40 Super Bowls where not only did we realize our interest was not considered, 
it was a mystery or a surprise who would be at the halftime. Now, all of a sudden, because Jay-Z name has been attached to the promotions, we think our interest has some say-so in who performs the Super, Soul, Super Bowl. Instead of just being grateful that we are more included than we ever have been, I think as a melanated group of people, we have to focus on what matters. Just think Nias are being the focal point of not the Super Bowl, but just the halftime show. So we're graduating in relevance, and we got to focus on what matters. But, 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 okay, let's just say if Jay-Z did have a final call, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would I will think common sense would tell you, let Lil Wayne have this. He the face of New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? It is, it is in New Orleans, bro. He got the catalog, and he can bring out so many people because he didn't collab with so many people. Let him have this, because guess what? After this Super Bowl, the next Super Bowl is in the Bay Area, and that's when Kendrick come out. Now, Kendrick was at the last Super Bowl, and I think if we start bringing Jay-Z or whoever made the decisions down to our level of thinking, we're going to serve ourselves short because we thinking about shit they're not thinking about. He didn't I, have I don't, it, think, I don't even think where the Super Bowl is being held factor into their decision. And that's what I'm saying. So, 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 do, do they? I think it factor in this year, bro. I, I really believe that Lil Wayne's supposed to be uh, uh, during, during the halftime show, that bro. Makes you agree with a lot of the no, 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 for real. And, and guess what? I believe Kendrick believed that. You know what I'm saying? But shit, Kendrick, this is an opportunity. This is a part of his. <laughs> His legacy, you know what I'm saying, his resume. So, but I just I just feel everything going on, Mr. Carter, if Mr. Carter was making the decisions, you being street savvy, you've been there all across the globe, you're supposed to know, man, let Lil Wayne have this because he got it for New Orleans and for Louisiana, and he got the catalog. And then the year after this, you let – Kendrick have it in the Bay Area because the Super Bowl following this one is going to be in the Bay Area. And that's what I think. But, you know what I mean? Shout out, uh, shout out Kendrick, bro. He didn't, he didn't revive the West once again. You feel me? And shit. And that's, and that's, how, that's how we go. It wasn't, it, was, it wasn't the one on Rose Grand Central, but. Talking about the, oh, talking about the vandalism <coughs> on, the, on the mirror. The Tams, yeah, man. It, it, it was. What, 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 what I just learned that 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 uh Kendrick got four murals in Compton. Okay, you so, so, did your mathematics. All right, we had to do our uh, our Googles or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the 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 one the one that got vandalized was on it was still on Rosecrans, but towards like Santana Block Hood. You know what I'm saying? Told you, fool. Still the same disrespect. Nah. But, it wasn't that one you didn't let me that finish, went though. viral. Go ahead, it's my bad. Still disrespect, but but it would it would it would it would it would have mattered more if it was on Central and Rosecrans on the, on the Thames. That's like you know what I'm saying. And that's no challenge to nobody. It's not a challenge yeah. by far. You know what I'm saying. It's not a challenge by far, but still, it's still disrespectful to even paint over it and put the gang slurs. You know what I'm saying. It kind of reminds me of at a certain point in time when neighborhood Nip, the Kiwi, Christ, my love, my cousin, old my Brody, had passed, and somebody from your area of town had got, got 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 ahead of the general consensus of everybody of love, respect, peace, and they did some regular game bank shit, and then it took game bank culture to not overreact. It do remind you? Is it similar? Okay, but, but that's this one I want to point out to people. Which I never pointed out about Nip Miro being defaced by one of the little homies, right? Mm -hmm. That's how you know it's business and not personal. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know if y'all know, it's Nip Miro's in Inglewood. Mm -hmm. That's a lot closer. Don't you think they would have defaced that one and messed that one up? But mm -hmm. no, it, it was it ain't a, it wasn't a Nipsey thing. It's a Rolling Sixty thing. Mm -hmm. So they went to the Rolling Sixty. And to face that one in particular, it wasn't a, it wasn't just like just let's let's disrespect Nipsey Hussle, you know what I'm saying? It was more so business. Like we we got this this thing, this dislike for the Rolling Sixty, so we gonna go to the Rolling Sixties all Crenshaw and Slauson, and we go do mm. what what they did. 
because it makes a lot of sense. The, it, 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 it's murals. It's not of, personal. It's, Politics. It's it's what business. We doing. It, yeah. It's, it's, it's the same Activities. business that have been going on before I was born. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Since the early 70s, with the Inglewood families in the rolling 60s, that we inherited this dislike. You know what I'm saying? So the hum that they went over there and did that on over there. It, it's still uh uh murals Mer- 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 of Nipsey and Inglewood that never been touched. Mm. So it, it wasn't a whole they disrespecting Nip. No, 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 nah, nah. It, it's it's it, it, it's it's more so a gang thing, you know what I'm saying? And for those who are not of the element of the culture, you gotta realize if we have an element of street gang violence politics that we all agree has us offset our progress by such a um a, a far degree, just know what he's describing. That's how bad it is. We try to keep make all this philosophical, intelligent. Um, representation of the game main politics we went through but all of us that really signed up and understood what we were doing knew we were signing into an institution primarily promulgated off ignorance and we knew that we, we knew it was the, the rejects the fuck ups the people hey but but early on i didn't think it was ignorant though. I, nope. thought I, I thought i was doing i thought i was doing what, what uh was right i, I grew to know shit that we was doing was ignorant you know what i'm mm. saying that's deep. I, no, I, I thought shit was like normal programming. Really. I had a better understanding. I always knew I chose the wrong side on purpose and was still trying to do it 100% right, though. Do the, I was trying to do wrong right. The best I could do wrong, I tried to do it right. For some reason, I wanted to be validated by doing wrong right versus the way my mama tried to raise me and doing right right. I wanted to do wrong right instead of right right. You don't relate to that type of energy? I know it was I know it was the wrong thing, but it was like it was like kind of normal. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that's so, similar. So, so, so I didn't find I didn't find it ignorant until I got mm. older. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, okay. It, so, it, it, it ain't the t- it, it wasn't the, the 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 thing that I didn't I didn't look at it ignorant. The typical shit they be like, man, you go to the pen, you cool with these niggas, so you can do it on the street. That that wasn't what man. I'm like, that never kicks in until you get there. Hell, no, yeah. No, that that ain't what make it like. If I could get a, get along with them in jail, I get get along with them on the streets. That ain't what kicked in with, with me because of that though, because that's that's the normal thing. Because when we oppress, we always come together. But that, that's, that, that, that's that, that, it's been like that. But you can only say that from your age if you have right. I can read history, from, went to your experience, and believe what other people told you. So that's the only way you can say always. You could outside of that, you only know what you went through, and that was your reality. When it got down, we, we we grabbed together in your presence at some point. My my my, my shit be when I be meeting meeting niggas from the other side, and then I'm like, then that nigga cool, was a motherfucker. If he didn't go to that school or live over there, we'd <sighs> probably be tight tight in the mud. It ain't the jail shit, the jail from the street. It be it be shit like that though. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Like I'm like, if me we'll be straight as a motherfucker if you if you live like on the other side of Manchester. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That it be it be shit like that or. Yeah, like more stuff, like you know what I'm saying, but you know you gotta like experience is the best, best, best teacher. You know Definitely. What I'm saying? And I got a question. Yeah, it's been a lot of peace talk. First, you know, you the one pioneering this this um, modern movement, saying um, Paru blood, we all the same, right? Blood bringing Paru. Blood bringing Paru. Some G niggas that slightly disagree. It's been a conversation. However. The Pyrus put their stamp on the map in Compton and they did some peace shit. Um, it seemed like they sparked LA Keyways in general to try to follow suit. That's a good thing. I agree. It's been a lot of opposing conversation. Shout out uh young and Hefe, my last guest in the black box on S Talk. I know that's one of your people's too, but and shout out shout out A D, bro. And A D night cause, cause, pull cause up A D. A D don't care what nobody thinks, bro. He gonna stand you on. can see his confidence on that little video. Yeah, he don't care. Yeah. And you always speak real highly of AD, so I always over understood him as somebody that I was on the same mental length with just based on. So, hey, tell the homie, he, he welcome to pull up whenever. But I just want to get your perspective on the ups, downs, ins, and outs of the whole fact that the key ways. I remember me and you, I, you knew that the Pyrus was planning the peace walk before it happened and we communicated about it then it, 
the keyways had whatever they had. I've spoke up. Some people mad that Skip, your partner, videotaped. I love Skip, bro. Shout out Baby Monster from Rolling Twenties. I Shout love out Monster. Yeah. But everybody's not happy about every single thing that took place. And I just want to get your overall perspective of the whole incident. I just feel whether whether Skip would have would have recorded them on the outside, the backlash would have been a backlash. That's for one. For two, I think Skip felt more comfortable pulling out the camera because A D was there. Whenever AD around, that's what he do. He did when, when I was there with AD. Mm. Like AD, 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 AD look, 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 AD and fuck off from BPS. Not big you, AD, and fuck off from BPS. Spareheaded everything that went on on Crenshaw and Slauson after Nib died, bro. So mm. AD that like so 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 when 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 Skip and, and AD in the same, he don't mind putting out the camera. When AD right mm. there. So whoever that was around AD, and if they didn't feel comfortable, they should have spoke up. Like, nah, this, you know what I'm saying? But AD go do AD, and, you know what I'm saying? But that moment with AD on that camera, if we realized that they had met at that location, met for an hour or two, and now that they was finished, that small amount of footage shows that AD was not there to be on camera. It was not saying that he was against it, but that's not what he was there for. It looked like, now that I hear the whole story, they did what they would claim to do. They did it in seclusion, in privacy. And now after we got our, our, our goal accomplished, we're finished. Here comes Skip. Everybody's familiar with Skip documented, similar to Alex. He does it in a slightly different. It's not live. It's pre-recorded. He taps into the most rawest elements of our experience. He talks to the members. Skip has a different version of the same shit. He a G nigga that's older. Everybody believes he don't mean no harm. So he comes around and tries to do his best to document the whole experience. Keyway and Damu. But do you realize his name has been brought up to some controversy because of this last meeting? Shout out to Baby Monster. Once again, shout out to Taco from over there. Everybody wasn't in agreement with the fact that he brought his camera up. Hey, so my, my question is, when the camera came out, the dudes on, on the camera why they didn't say anything? I don't believe this is what I was told by Baby Moss. He was like, certain key ways that I'm not able to name at the moment reached out to the 20s and was like, we thank you for allowing us to host this meeting over here tomorrow. One request they made was like, you know, because Skip is popular for documenting certain events. From my understanding, the request was made, hey, please ask that he don't record. So for my Damu partners, they was like, we got that cuz, Monster and Taco got that cuz, like it ain't cool. That's why he told me we have such a small The meeting portion. wasn't documented though, that's what I'm saying. But it was, it was no, after the meeting was, was, agreed. was, 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 was but, concluded, and then. And and I believe, only reason. Um, and he, if you pay attention, he threw the camera up, and guess who was doing all the talking? Mm. AD. That's what I'm saying, he, he comfortable filming AD, bro. Cause AD is with the program like that. The them other two dudes should have spent off, right? That shit did. No, 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 no. Would you have spent off if you wasn't comfortable with it? Definitely. Okay. Or that, told that, him, cut it and let him know, don't put that out. I think he might have been lying, but I feel you. Yeah, go no, ahead. I don't, I don't know. I think it was pre-recorded and he uploaded okay. it. But 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 I'll do from 90s and I'll do from Hoover. If they wasn't comfortable with it, they they, they should have I, 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 delete that or take it down or 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 don't post that. Or they should have spent off. Like I would have did if I wasn't comfortable with it. Because I ain't going to do nothing I ain't comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, but best believe, Skip, he have no problem putting the camera in AD face. Because AD don't care. And AD, he, he, he coming how he coming. And that's how he feel. You know what I'm saying? AD. AD, AD came. Yeah, he was real casual, respectful, and confident. Like always. Yeah. AD, AD over, over the BS. Skip though. as well. Skip ain't. Only thing I'm saying is certain people was getting on. It was expressing the fact that I think they want to put the blame on Skip turning the camera on because it is it, 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 backlash and people on the internet talking X, Y, and Z about, about the crit piece. But the thing is, it's a way more sophisticated and difficult with the crits because it's more uh sectors and fractions. You know what I'm saying? True. We don't got all these cars that the Crips got. The Crips got gangsters, hub and a dub, uh, mm. uh neighborhood. Like so. Like, 
one hood is connected to the other one, the other one, the other, other one. They decision one one hood decision, the sixties decision, uh, 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 affects seven other hoods. It, it, it well, that's because Nightbug came so popular, but y'all are more into that because you guys have more of a family structure. I ain't going to speak of the prison gangs that that. Me no, 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 no. Prison gangs ain't got nothing to do with nothing that, that, that no peace on the streets. It's, it's just like it, it, politics, though. Y'all, y'all, y'all. We don't got no cars. We don't got no cars, though. It's just, it's just bloods, though. It's bloods, mm. and and then I can, you could say Peru, but Peru is bloods, though. When you go to the pen. There's only one table. It's the blood table. Bring blood, Peru, bitch. It's the it's the B team. All right, we don't reached our time once you be the motherfucking mayor, my real. co-host on Kicking Cock being hey, but, 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 but shout out Young Ant. Shout out uh, uh, Tiny Minutes. You know what I'm saying? Tiny Minutes. Because Tiny Minutes. Tiny Minutes, we need you to pull up in the black box, bro. You did something monumental just by being sincere in your expression. Whether, you know, it pulls off as big as they thought. You made waves. Uh, your boy Hefe been here since. You come back with him. I just come back and holler at me and Munchie on Kick Kick and being. Oh, rude. hold on. And then, 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 and hold on. He he reacted to the little dude from 60s. I'm surprised. Wait, wait, wait. You had an ant and a 6 0 reaction? No, 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 no. Is young, it loaded young up? Young and Hefe. Is it loaded up? He, 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 he reacted to the little dude. What they call him? Uh, his name Jay Bone from Six. He calls oh, him, Bonelli. Is it loaded? Yeah, yeah, he calls him. Look, 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 look. That little. We got to load it up? Hey, 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 hey. Bonelli said, "Why niggas so scared of peace?" Mm. Like, he, he, he said, he said like, "Hey, bro, y'all can go check it out. Go check out Young Ant." Hey, Bonelli, pull up to the black box, man. You see, Munchy being spotted, low kicky cack. I don't know if bull. I want to. I don't know if I want to sit down with Bonelli though. But y'all could do it. I ain't gonna. Why lie. Are you bring it? Why you bring the homie up? No, no, because I'm giving him his flowers for for being. Because I I didn't expect that out of him though. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to. I don't want to sit down with the little nigga. I because like the the thing is, no 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 no. no. I, I like to get understandings with people before I get on camera with them. He I, ain't I, lying, I, y'all. I'm not doing. He's that not just shit. making that up. He does that, and I'm gonna make sure I facilitate any process. Nigga gonna have to trick us. I know that. I know. I know. You gonna have to I trick us. To, yeah. He, 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 you know me. He, 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 he a solid young nigga from over there. But I ain't know. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I would have to. Like you know what I'm saying? Holler at him first and all that shit. I'm not just about to like pull up. Nah, hell no. Nah, 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 nah. I but, get but, you. But but shout out him. I, I commend him because because I didn't expect that out of him though. No. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, that was the most mature statement I've heard him say online since I've been aware of him online. Because he be with all the fuckery and the bullshit. Oh, me? No, Bonelli. Every time oh, okay, he made okay. a splash, it's always on the edge of the bullshit. You feel me? He always I go mean, viral the, saying some edgy. The, 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 the recent shit I heard, he he, he kind of be on loose cannon in 600, though. I ain't heard none of that. But I know this last thing he said. Let me know he ain't no dummy. When he uh, talked about how the climate is out here and how people is over or under reacting to the concept of peace. And he was basically saying, well, if it's all that, why you ain't, why we ain't, you feel me? That yeah. made a lot of sense to me. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And usually to come across I, as I, I, an official fool, you got to come across ignorant. So to convince us you is equally as ignorant as intelligent, that's about what it takes for me to respect you. Because a lot of dummies out here, but these dummies don't dominate nothing. And usually if you take your time to dominate something, you're not a dummy. So being a game bang, hierarchy, all-star means I'm a dummy that knows how to dominate. And that's a thin line to walk. You got to be a fool to be Munchie B that gets respect. But you got to also be wise. So... You know, that's a hard thing to create within yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah. my mama mama. Oh, everything, man. But no, shout out shout out to little nigga J Ball. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I I I was shocked to hear that. I'm like, okay. Check him out though. Yeah, I, I you showing a lot of maturity, but, bro. You came with this motherfucking but, ignorant. No, no, no. I, I, but 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 see, I, I I know that message was was geared towards the A Track gangsters, you know what I'm saying? Like there you go. Hey, look. No, we, no, no, no. Hey, no, 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 no. For real, it, it, it was geared. But, but see, I fix what could be fixed, though. It don't matter what side is on. Just fix it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll see like, you like, next. I'm going to see you next week, blood. Kick and cack being bull. Let people know where to keep up with you. I fuck that. Me, Spotted Look Most East Eater, number seven. Y'all know where I'm at. Go ahead, Munchie. Man, hit my Instagram. Mars Over Money 92. 
I got a TikTok now, Morals Over Money 92, my Instagram, MB underscore the mayor. You know what I'm saying? Everybody tap in, I'll tap out. We kicking cack, being bull and all that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, that's what we doing. Bro. Oh, my mama, mama, though. Eastwood Productions. Oh.